story to tell. The fighters created by the maker of World Thunder have really overwhelmed players. Thanks to its outstanding graphics and excellent emulation capabilities, World Thunder has been and is being sought by many aviation players to satisfy their passion. What about you? Are you interested in the weapons of World War II? Let me know in the comments. One of the first offer fighters in the game was the Boeing P-26B shooter. The game maker had reason to put it first. It was the United States' first all-metal fighter, and it was also the first monoplane fitted to the United States Army Air Corps. At the time of its creation, the Boeing P-26 fighter, nicknamed the P-Shooter, was a very promising vehicle. The world's first all-metal fighter with a smooth duralumin lining and a monocoque fuselage. March 20 1932, the plane took off for the first time. A total of 151 units were produced. Born at the time of the aerospace boom, the P-26 was quickly overtaken by newer fighters. The advantages of the P-26 diminish, and its disadvantages became vulnerabilities. By the time of World War II, the P-26 was hopelessly obsolete. The P-26 had a typical 1930s design. Like all fighters of its time, it had no pilot armor, but it was instead upgraded with self-sealing fuel tanks. The pilot engine and fuel was centrally located. The pilot sat in an open cockpit in the middle of the fuselage, giving him a good view over the nose and wings. The headrest was set behind the pilot and protruded from the dorsal spyline. The excellent visibility from the cockpit made it easy for him to spot threats in area battles. The tail was a combination of a large single vertical fin and two horizontal planes. The large, spatted main landing gear legs were set under each wing. The P-26 similar design with its fixed landing gear made it less susceptible to damage and easy to maintain. The U.S. single-seat fighter had an empty weight of 996 kilograms and gross weight of 1,524 kilograms. It had a length of 7.19 meters, wingspan of 8.5 meters, height of 3 meters, and wing area of 23 square meters. P shooter was equipped with a Pratt and Whitney R1340-27 WASP 9-cylinder aircon radiation piston engine, providing 600 horsepower, transmission to a two-bladed fixed pitch propeller. The P26 could reach a top speed of 377 km per hour. The combat range was 580 kilometers. The service link was 8,400 meters, and the rate of climb was 3.65 meters per second. At the time of its birth, the P-26 
was one of the fastest fighters in the world. Regarding weapons, the P-26 was equipped with two 7.62mm M1919 Browning machine guns and a 12.7 machine gun. In addition, it could also carry two 100 power bombs or five 31 power anti-personnel bombs. Three versions of the P-26 were produced, P-26A, B, and C. The Model 281 was an export version of the P-26C. Eleven were made for China and one for Spain. Only two P-26B were completed with fuel injected or 1340-33 radio of 600 horsepower. The P-26C version was 23 aircraft, completed with carbureted R1340-33 radio spotting a new, revised fuel system. The P-26 saw the most of its combat serving in the Chinese nationalist air force during the Second Sino-Japanese War against Japanese key tanks and notably A5Ms in some of the first Ormedor monoplane dogfights. Although it performed admirably in the pursuit draw in air-to-air -air combat with Japanese fighters, the deficiencies of the model showed. In U.S. service, the P-26 had a similar record. During the Japanese invasion of the Philippines, the P-26 scored only a handful of air-to-air kills against Japanese attackers. On December 24, 1941, their crews burned the remaining planes to prevent their capture. Of the 151 built, only nine airworthy P-26 remained by Christmas 1941. A single squadron defending the Panama Canal zone, which was removed from service shortly after. The last P-26 were decommissioned in Guatemala in 1954. That was the aircraft reached the supersonic era aviation. Despite the relatively small volume of the series production, the P-26 became a kind of the American fighter aircraft of the middle 1930s. Several of these nice machines are preserved in museums, and one of them is maintained in flying state and periodically participates in various aviation shows. My video of Boeing P-26 B shooter answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.